A doctor in Pueblo is warning the public about the fallout of a cyber attack against a major insurance company. It has caused huge disruptions for practices making insurance claims. As News 5's Andy Cohen reports, a leading trade group now worries many doctor's offices will close because of it. Dr. Rocky Kosla of Pueblo Sports and Family Medicine said he wanted to share his story because he knows many doctors who are facing similar financial difficulties and he worries that not enough people in our community, especially the policymakers, know what's happening. So it's been very stressful. I would say this is the most stress I've dealt with ever. Uh, and I've been through pre-med, I've been through med, I've been through rotations, I've been through residency, but I'll, I have to say this has been one of the most trying times in my whole life. In late February, cyber criminals attacked a company called Change Healthcare. It's a billing services clearinghouse that is part of United Health Group. Doctors' offices nationwide cannot submit bills or receive payments. We haven't gotten substantially paid for about two and a half months. Dr. Kosla says his practice had enough money and savings to cover its expenses for two months. That money is all gone. I've had to take out and uh, maximize my home equity loan. I've uh, had to take some um, loans against my retirement just to meet payroll. Kosla is one of many physicians facing this problem. The American Medical Association released a survey of its members which showed that four out of five doctors lost revenue to unpaid claims tied to the cyber attack. And 55% of doctors surveyed said that they used personal funds to cover expenses for their practices. The AMA president warns that practices will close because of this incident and patients will lose access to their physicians. A spokesman from United Health Group told me via email they've committed nearly $5 billion to a temporary relief fund to help doctors with money. He encourages providers to check their eligibility through an online portal. Dr. Kosla tells us that he's done that, but it's not enough. We've gotten one twelfth of that as relief yet. The American Medical Association sent a letter last month to the Secretary of Health and Human Services warning that this situation has put many small practices in financial jeopardy, particularly those that are serving in rural communities and underserved areas. Reporting in Pueblo, Andy Cohen, News 5.